Greetings, greetings. Welcome to the Life in Transitions YouTube channel. I hope this video finds you doing great, doing well. My name is Courtney Rollins. I am the host of the Life in Transitions YouTube channel, as well as the founder and operator of the State Pro Service LLC, where I'm helping folks make the probate process and the state planning easier while generating income and wealth through real estate. And one of the things that I try to do and try to bring value uh, to folks who are going through probate um, or really anyone who's actually uh, dealing with real estate is sharing some of the experiences that I've come across that's helped um, me, uh, I guess, uh, not deal with or help me avoid certain uh, challenges that may come up. And I want to share that with you. I'm not an, uh, uh, an attorney or giving any financial advice, but I am sharing my experience and hopefully it'll be helpful uh, to you. And one of those things is, is when someone passes away and if the property is left vacant and really you can take a step back and say any vacant property, you need to make sure that you have the proper type of insurance on a vacant property. When someone passes away, quite often the insurance that remains on the property, if there is insurance on the property, uh, states that there that it's an occupancy or it's occupied or whatever term the insurance agent um, uses. And you want to make sure that you have the proper type of insurance. So that's what we're going to look at today. We're going to talk about why your property or the vacant property needs some type of uh, the proper type of insurance. And we'll get into that as soon as I show my fancy dancy fancy pants um, slides here. So if you're listening to this on the podcast on Spotify and all that good stuff, we'd love a five-star review or whatever review you give me, help me get better. And we'd love for you to hit that like and subscribe, but also encourage you to go to the YouTube channel or Facebook group because you actually will see some slides that supports almost all of my presentations and conversations and content. So uh, take a step back. Probate is the legal process of settling the affairs of someone who's passed away. If someone dies and they have property, in their name, real or personal property, and they have debt or uh, claims and bills in their name. There has to be a way, legal way to rectify that. Um, so probate is that process. If you want support on figuring out how to avoid probate for your family and for yourself, please reach out to me because I do have resources and tools that help many people. And I feel like it's like my ministry to share with people that, hey, there are ways to avoid probate because probate is long, it can be expensive, and it can, it's public. So to avoid those things and to keep and protect that legacy and wealth, there are some simple legal instruments that you and your family can use. And I would love to share that with you. Um, but uh, essentially, here are some things. When you have, um, there are some risks that vacant properties have. They're, they're increased vulnerability because there are not many eyes on there. Um, also, there's issues of neglect that happens. No one's in there. You know, the weeds start growing, things start happening. If there's like water damage or things that uh, water in there, it's a possibility of leaks. And also uh, because there's not many people in there, it's more vulnerable to uh, neglect and maintenance issues and open to people breaking in squatters, things of that nature. And there's a liability concern if you don't have um, the proper insurance on there when there is uh, the properties are vacant. And so there's that's this risk you need to understand when there's a vacant house there. Um, and again, Standard homeowner insurance has limitations. Sometimes they have complete exclusion from any vacancy related uh, risk. So if, you know, heaven forbid something happens to the property, if it's vacant and they can prove that it's vacant, then if you have a standard homeowner insurance that uh, assumes occupancy, there may be reason to believe that they won't pay. And quite often the insurance companies won't pay because that's not the type of coverage that they had. And um, so we have to take that into account. Um, vacancy insurance quite often is more expensive than occupancy insurance because it does come with certain risks as we just talked about. However, there are um, different, and some insurance companies won't even give vacancy uh, policy. So uh, there are definitely some nationwide insurance companies that do, and it shouldn't be hard to find. If you need some sources, resources, reach out to me and I can share that with you. Uh, some of the benefits of having vacancy Home insurance is that it has tailored specific coverage, so you know you're covered based on that. Um, it gives opportunity for extending the coverage period, particularly when there's someone's past and you're settling, you're transferring the deed or selling the property or getting it ready for it until you do move in. So there's that. that. Then, of course, there's that protection of liability. If you are selling property, you have people coming in and out of the property looking for it, looking at it, um, then you're protected on there. And quite often, 
even when someone's passed away, if there's a mortgage remaining on there, the lender quite often will require that there is some type of insurance that's that's that is actually um, reflects the status of the house. And so you need to make sure you have that. And it gives you peace of mind as well. Now, I do want to put in one caveat. I was talking to one of my awesome, another um, estate professional who works in uh, Florida, Dan Ivanoff, awesome real estate uh, agent down there. If you need any support with probate, uh, definitely connect with me and I can connect you with Dan. But he was sharing how uh, there are times that you can you can have uh, home watchers um, uh, resources that people will stop by and check on the home for you. You can actually show that the property is being um, constantly observed and checked on, and that may allow you to be able to, um, you know, show proof that you know that this property has someone who's looking at it. It's not just quote unquote vacant, but it is being observed, inspected. And so that and some insurance companies may accept that if you do need to use that, hopefully you don't, and you definitely want to check on that. Um, but I thought that was pretty cool that he shared that with me. So I decided I'd share that with you. All right. Now, if you need a holistic approach to your property, inherited property needs, I am the hub and the will right there, state post service. There's many services even outside of this will that I could probably uh, connect as a spoke to what we do here. But if you're um, providing support, um, I'm like the, like I said, the, the hub and the wheel would love to help you. We take a head, hand and hearts approach, which means we use our mind to figure out what the situation is. But we have to first start with the heart to realize that you all have your own situation issues. And so we need to approach that with some empathy. And then we're able to use our resources and get to work using our hands to make sure uh, whatever your challenges are, we've addressed them. Feel free to reach out to me at the numbers right there, 919-341-1992 or Courtney at Estate Pro Service. And check out our Google reviews. Take those. Take great pride in what we've uh, been able to accomplish and support people with. So uh, that's it right there. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Courtney Rollins, Life and Transitions Experts, L-I-T-E. Let your light shine. Cheers.